I saw the hand go up. I just signals, I'm ready. Oh, I thought maybe you had a... <laughs> oh, a punch. No, no, nothing. A comment, no. <clears throat> <clears throat> you see part of a, an ongoing sociological experiment, which is, I thought, since I keep getting mistaken for a homeless person, I decided I should try wearing better clothes mm. and see if that works. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or I could rip my blue jeans. That's alternative two. No, you know, that's cut in style. rips in them. Yeah. yeah. So but I think that's a very poor thing in our society that suddenly that's so important. The color of your blue jeans. It's uh, the hair of your blue jeans. Huh? What? It's not the cut of your clothes, it's the hair of your clothes. Yeah, or the age of your clothes. <coughs> well, that was, now you're getting personal. <laughs> These are scones, if anybody wants some blueberry scones, little mini scones. That's all good, you should try it. Yeah, yummies. Well, <coughs> how far did we go? Into that sacred fifth, did we know? Yeah, a couple of paragraphs. But we had one, you saw this? one lingering problem, and I want to ask you whether you want to take time out to do it. Regina had a question about four that uh, it was the issue was how can you go from two to the six without dealing with four and five and it doesn't make any sense so I want to let her know that if you'd like to take over and detail the, your position I would appreciate it uh, so what are you suggesting that there's some connection between two and the six which can't be made unless there are distinctions that come out of the fourth and the fifth? Are you talking? Are we on the same page? I don't think so. That's not my position. Well, correct. Well, I was talking within four. A fifth. Okay. Within the fifth. Do it with the fifth. I was talking about paragraph um, four and five. Okay. So can you st uh, sketch out your problem? <clears throat> uh, well, paragraph three, which says that there is uh, the one separate and uh, uh, take notice on the one hand is not the one separate from the others, and on the other hand, the others separate from the one, that's the fifth, that's what he's going to show. Pardon me, I thought you were going to point out the difficulty you had. Um, I asked you whether or not you'd like to explore that difficulty you were having. The next paragraph, Okay. because uh, nothing exists in some different way besides C. Now, I took it either that he means that these refers back to number three, or these is what follows. And that is of, uh, and that is that which is uh, other than the one, and the other is of other, others. If you take it, I taking it to what follows, which is these two, then he's saying this is the only way that these two that difference can occur. That's how I understand it. You were going to point out the difficulty you have. Can you go from there to where the difficulty resides? Right. He then, in the next paragraph, yeah. he says that... We are now on the sixth. No, in the fifth. Four, fifth. Okay, go ahead. All according <coughs> to man. Let's see. Right. A 
Accordingly, then, there is no different besides these, in which both the one and the others can be in the self, or in the same. The next sentence, accordingly, then, the one and the others never subsist in the same. Between that, the fifth conclusion and the sixth conclusion, <coughs> I didn't. I don't see how he argues that it therefore is never subsists in the same, which then. Oh, then. Uh, um, and the difficulty would be because, as you reason, because the paragraph before uh -huh. says that there is no way, no other different besides these in which both the one and the others can be in the same or in the self. So one says it's no other way that it can be in the same or or in the self, and then the very next sentence says, therefore the one and the others never subsist in the same. They're both negative, aren't they? Right. Well, Therefore, he's making parallel points between uh, the one and the self, isn't it, or the same? Um, I don't. What is that parallel point? I don't. I don't know what. What is it? Pardon. Yeah, well, uh, we have to be accurate now. Come on, try to. Uh, what conclusion would you make then from five? There's no other way besides these in which both of these can be in the self. <clears throat> That's negative. Right. There's no other way to do that. Other than the way in which you just described it. Which is in four. Yeah. Okay. Right. So therefore, do you agree what's going on in the fourth? <clears throat> That's, yeah, that he's saying that this is, uh, that uh, nothing exists in some different way. And therefore, there isn't any different way. If you want to be in the same or the self. In regards to the one and the others. Do you agree in the fourth that there's a difference between the one and the others? That which exists, that which, on the one hand, that which exists by being others in the one and then other than the other. So there's two ways others can relate relate. It can be other than one or other than others. Are they separate then? Other than others and other than uh, one. Are they separate then? In being other or in their relationship? Well, in the first, the one exists by being other than the one, then they're not in the same, are they? Right. No. And the same thing is true for the seconds. So therefore, the, as far as you're concerned, they're separate, clearly separate in the forest. Is that right? Um. A 
does it say the one which exists as being other than the one? That's what it says. Well, then they're other than one another, aren't they? They're separate. They're separate, they're not going to be in the same. Okay. Is that right? Is that what it said? Uh, I didn't see that. I don't see no, no, that is that there? I'm quoting. <clears throat> see that he's saying that they're not in the same. No, no, I'm following. If the one, right? Nothing exists in any in any different way than one, which exists by being other than the one. Right. What would you conclude about the two of them? That they're different. That they're other than each other, are they not? Is that what it says? That the other is other than one, yeah. Yeah, right, right, yeah. If it's other than, right? There are other. How do you want to represent it? Look here, I'll try this. Yes, going use the board. Here's the one. Here's the other. Right. Is this on camera, Yanni? Yeah. Uh huh. There's Shepherd. Right. Well, then they're not in the same thing, are they? If they're Shepherd. doesn't appear like it, at least there. I, but in the next sentence, he says it isn't the same. Well, wait a while. Do you agree with this first part? So far, yeah. it, can be, yeah. it can be seen as separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know <clears throat> about separate, but different. Well, okay. If they're different, right? This is a difference. That's the first point. And they're, certainly they're not the same if they're different. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now he's going to make another point about that difference, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, then the other... That's another way of things exist, is that... Other is other... There can be others other. than the other. Right. 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 There can be other than others. Right. These are two ways in which things can exist. Right. Mm. But Different. right now we're just focusing on the first, right? For Different. your for your concern. So different. Yeah. One just, is different and the other is different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so in five what he goes further, doesn't he? Well, then he could, he says that there, accordingly, then there is no other way besides these, I take it, in which both the one and the others can be in the same. Now he's saying something about the one and the others, does he not? New subject. Now he's talking about one and the others on a, another level. Right, that's the subject now, talking about one and others. Now we have to decide how to deal with them, do we not? Right, accordingly then there is no other, there is no different. No. Difference or different way besides these. I was taking these to mean that which came in paragraph four. Well, he's continuing the point from four, and now he's going further, making another distinction. What distinction is he making now in the fifth trend hmm. about the one and the others? That they uh, can subsist in the can same. Can or, or there's no other way besides these, what's above. That it subsist in the same. Well, you can say the same or you can say the self. Remember? Okay, yeah. So now he's making a new point, is he not? Yeah. What's the new point? That these subsist in the self or the same. That's right. That this Therefore is, they there can't is be no other way than 
in which these both can subsist in the self or the same. So, so now he's adding uh, same or self. Right. What? Both of those terms are new for us, aren't they? Especially yes. the word self. Yes. Yeah. You find that curious? Well, I, I find it curious on two levels. One is if it's the same, how is it that he is saying that that which is in paragraph four can be in the same? We, we, and or if it's the cell I, I, we did four we're on five. Oh, I thought besides these referred to this, that okay then I don't know what he's referring well, there's to. no other way than what was just mentioned what just mentioned is that they're separate they're different now he's making a further point other than difference Let's make another point. Find it curious that he's using the idea of self. No. Oh, okay. Because he is introducing a new term without describing it or defining it. No, he's just saying that that's what happens. Okay. So how are those two words, either one that you want, how is it being used in that paragraph? And remember, subsist is not there. Well, in which both the one and the other can be in would be in the self. We're saying. No, and there was some discussion about whether it's in or by. Or oh, okay. Was there not? By which both the one and the others. You can't agree there win. was some discussion about whether it was in or by. By, by, by. Uh, I uh, no. I remember by, but I thought it was a different area. Well, it was by no. the self, taking the grammatical. Oh, in the self, by the self. Oh, I see. There. I thought you meant the further first in. Um, in which both the one and the others can subsist by the self. Okay, that changes it for me. I don't understand that. Then, in terms of uh, there is no difference. What is it? Okay, then by the se the self is doing something. Is there is there recognized in that paragraph? There's that he hasn't specified <coughs> uh, how to understand that. The by He's just making a statement at that point. Right. Therefore, he concludes with accordingly, does he not? Right. What does he conclude? From six relates to five as a conclusion. Therefore, what? Six? Yeah, accordingly then. Accordingly then, the one and others never... Are never in the same. Are never in the same, or self, yeah, in the same. Well, okay. So therefore, how would you put that then? Then these are, these are, right? Going further, this is the therefore. One, other. That you'll never find them in what case, Trina? Never in what? In the same. Therefore, this cannot be said. They're never in the same. Right. What it says. Yeah. Yeah. So he's taking the original point about difference and by going through this reasoning it allows him to go to this point. I agree. That seems where it ends up. Yeah. No doubt about that. So where's your do you have a question about it? Yeah. What? In number five, 
That's this one. Right. He said he concludes. He, he ends up saying. No, it's not a conclusion. He says accordingly. Then. No. Yeah. Well, but to take a look at it. There's no other way in which both these two things can be, uh, can be or will be, uh, <clears throat> or exist by the self. Prepare for it. Looks like he's making a statement about uh, the generation of both one and the others from what? The self. No, it's a separate point, isn't it? All right. He's yes. making a separate point, so therefore, whatever these are, this is the one. It's by this that these exist. Yeah. Right, it's by this that these exist. <coughs> so we now need to know, okay, make a conclusion on it. Now that you know how they came into existence, Well, you never find them in the sand. Well, what the self? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, the one. Okay, then is he starting then, therefore, a whole new section rather than a conclusion to what came prior? Well, he's making it, he is, in one sense, he's making a conclusion, but not from what preceded. He's making an additional point. That is how the one and the others exist. Oh, okay. It's a question of existence right through this whole thing, remember? Key word is existence. Okay. Okay. That means, okay means. Yeah, it sounds like it's another point. No. It's not, it's not coming from prior. Following necessarily from something before. No. <clears throat> okay. No. So, okay means we can go on and you're in agreement with what's going on. Then, then, then number six. Yeah, it's saying that by the self, <laughs> its existence is one and others. From. By. In, in which both in which the both and others can be by the self. Yeah. So I take it that they are not in the same. It's by the self. Okay. There is no different besides these. That's it. Okay. In which both the one. Okay. So it's a. It's not even accordingly from what came before. It's just another point. Okay. I, I'll take it that way. Okay, so where did we leave off that in the last time? Right about there. Right about there. Right above there, didn't we? No, know? right about there. No. Yeah. So, so is, is it then that then, accordingly <coughs> then, the one and others never subsist in the same is going, is now, he's, that's a whole new point and he's starting out. Now he's going to make another conclusion. Watch, it now makes another one at seven. Further the same point. Are they separate then? No. That's a question. Of course, but he gets an answer and therefore you can go along with it. So now the next point is these are then separate. Yeah. Huh? That's, 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 <coughs> that's the goal.
Okay, just appreciate that. A couple of readers. And now that we know they're a shepherd, yes, they are a shepherd. Pretty darn shepherd. Right, making another step about the one, right, in respect to the others. Now it's internal. Yeah, go ahead. Are they separate then? Are we on seven? Yeah. Are they separate then? Yeah. Yes, they are separate. We most certainly affirm that that which is truly one has no parts. Right, so he's making a further point about the nature of the one that he's talking about. Right? No parts. What's important there is that there has to be a whole of which they of which there are no parts. <clears throat> because normally we would think of something as a whole and has parts, but he has difference between holes that doesn't have parts. Right? Such as the idea of the good or the brilliant light of being. Seems to be what he's suggesting. No, no. That one, that one, no. truly one. <clears throat> Accordingly, then, neither will the whole one be in others, nor parts of the self, if it is both separate from the others and also it has no parts. Right. There's pulling. No, there's no slippage. No. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling it together. Mm hmm. No way you could justify something being like in the fourth. You could say something was a part, therefore it was one. I agree. Here you're saying in no way they have no parts. Therefore, nothing can be a part. No other thing can be a part, which is one. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. Yes, that's good. How could it not be? A part? Wait, I have a question. Just one second. Uh, the Accordingly, then, neither will the one whole be in the others, nor the parts of the self. I don't see how, how that fits in there. Nor the parts of the self, if it is both separate from the others, <coughs> and also if it has no parts. Like, why is he bringing in the self there? Well... Uh, well, again, there's no prior discussion of the nature of the self, is there? No. Right. Right. And we find that interesting, but that's his hypothesis uh -huh. that it exists. Uh -huh. Or beyond existence. Right. And this is what he typically does. Uh, <clears throat> so hold that and, and see whether you can describe the point you want to make out of number nine. Go ahead. Accordingly then. Neither will the one whole be in the others. Agree? Yep. Nor the parts of the self. Uh, see, what is that? Is that something missing? Could you have to... Nor will there be parts of the self? Is the idea of will assumed that he picks that up from the prior? <clears throat> hmm. mm. Well, maybe... Maybe my problem is is that I'm, I'm taking the one whole to be what seem like what right was the brilliant light of being right that's maybe why I'm having a problem. no 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 go ahead well well there are, yeah, just, go ahead. it just seems like that this uh, up to this point the self is is distinct and separate from 
the one hole and the others. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm curious, I don't understand why he's bringing in the parts of the self. Like, that's already, that distinction seems to be already made, right? Like, well, maybe that's my answer. <laughs> well, you have to ask where you found the idea of the parts of the self before this. Oh, <clears throat> We've allowed sometimes that with the article it means the same, but I don't. I think Pierre's take on it is really well. I think it should stay stay in question. Like in theory, in the Greek, it could say, "Oh, I lost my page." It could say it there. No world the parts of it be right. In but but I thought that Pierre's suggestion, which is that you could use follow the same parallel verbal structure is is a good one and we ought to hold out and see where that goes especially in light of what follows um, so, so you follow that Bradley yeah I'm good I can move on just a, what Pierre well, suggested okay. there was perfectly uh, then, useful then he's willing to go along with it yeah. so he yes. should continue reading should he not sir okay right. <laughs> How could it not be so? Accordingly then, in no way will the others participate of the one, since they neither... Oh, you went to ten. I thought maybe you'd continue. Oh, back at nine? Yeah. Okay. Accordingly then, neither will the one... Neither will the whole one be in the others, nor the parts of the self. Nor will there be parts of self. Okay. Is what Pierre was suggesting. Yeah. Nor will there be parts of self if it is both separate from the others and also if it has no parts. Right. Agreed? We can attribute all of that stuff to the one. Wow. It's separate good. from the others and it has no parts. It's going way back to the beginning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Someone want to do ten? Might also be nor will the parts of nor will the parts yes. itself be. Yes, yes, that would be nice to continue that parallel. Yeah, rather than. Well, I was just making it more than it had to be. Neither will the whole one be in the others, nor will the parts of the self be. Yeah. In others, we assume. Okay, someone else on 10? And, no, <clears throat> and, and others won't be in the parts as well? Is that what um, And others won't be in the parts. Um, I don't know. Okay. No, 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 the parts of the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Accordingly, then, and are we okay, everybody? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Accordingly, did you want to read Bradley? Or? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Accordingly, then, in no way will the others participate of the one, since they neither participate according to a certain part of self, nor according to the whole. It does not appear to be likely. So, further, see, he's still further making Further separation. These still making further separations okay. and adding more distinctions about the separation or the difference. Right? Yeah. Isn't he also just said, well, is he also adding to the idea of separation? Yes. Right. Okay. And, and difference. And difference. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
does it, does it matter that he's changed it to separate uh, to participation at this point? That's fascinating. I am fascinated by that. What do you see, Dave? Well, I just noticed it. Whoa, wait a minute. Does that matter? Well, the one... I don't know. The prior point is something about the whole one being in the others, right? Mm -hmm. And the parts being in the others, we take it. But, and so it seems like this this is like a contrasting point. If they are not in it, then they cannot participate of it. Right. Right? The, right. If they are not in the others, the others cannot participate. Is that fair? Another way of saying it? Yeah, one seems more existential, if you don't know what I'm saying, so and the other one seems more part of the whole, or more, more in terms of the way one functions to influence the other. Okay. And which way would you go? Is the second one the one that yeah, where they function? Uh, up till nine, we've been in kind of a that is using the word is, and so I was going to say call that is essential. essential. Yeah. Uh -huh. But in 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 this next, it's talking about how how these two might relate to each other. Mm -hmm. It's continuing interact to interact with each other or function towards one another. And that's what we're doing in the fit, right? We're looking at the ways in which... How is it participation about? Partici well, yeah, and we're talking about the way in which they undergo, right? Or yeah. experience. You know, I just to make a point, uh, <clears throat> why is he doing this very strictly, right? And at each step he's adding it just a little bit because the original statement of this hypothesis is this is an argument that shows necessity. Mm. So it has to be very hammered down, down nailed down. Yeah. It, ha it has to be this way. Mm. And only this way. Yeah. See? Uh, so then, I'm in the first paragraph. So then, in turn, we can we can consider now that everything is openly clear, if one is whether those other than the ones do not have to be in this way, or if they have to solely be in the following way. See, that's a necessity, necessity, mm -hmm. necessity. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he, these people reason with the word necessity. And it's always important to know what the conditions are for necessity. Well, here it is. One way is that you have to eliminate all po other possibilities. Yes. Carefully. Each. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. It does not appear to be likely. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. You want to go on, Dave? Uh, I thought I'd. Another point? Accordingly, then. In no other, in no way are the others one, nor maintain any one in themselves. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. That's over. Right? Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> more, more purity, right? Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Accordingly, then. Neither are the others many, or if they were many, then each of them would be one by being a part of something. Right. But now, those other than the one are neither one nor many, nor a whole, nor part, since they in no way participate of self. Right. Oh. Dang. <clears throat> Yeah, a philosophical <laughs> acts. <laughs> now the implications. Now, now that he's, see, he's got there. Now let's apply wow. other terms. Rightly so. Right. Is this paragraph thirteen? <laughs> I, I just want to know if I uh, accordingly then the uh, 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 one fifty nine yeah. e. Now he applies it to numbers, to like and unlike, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Accordingly, then, the others are neither two nor three, nor are the, these numbers contained in them, since they are entirely deprived of the one. Okay. Oh Implications of the prior. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. accordingly, accordingly, then, the others are neither like nor unlike, nor the same with the one, nor are likeness and unlikeness inherent in them. Ah, now, this is his great reasoning for that, which is really Parmenidean. For if they were like and, and unlike, are contained likeness and unlikeness in themselves, then the, those other than the one would somehow contain in themselves two opposite ideas. <laughs> and you can't have two. Because oh. you ain't got no one. Right? Yeah. Right. You since you can't have two, you can't have them both. <laughs> what a clever one. Just to know, it looks like he's translating our toys as them at 159e, right? Which I just, and out also outa, outa and autos, which might be true. I just, I know we're watching, I at least am watching for how that, how the, Ideas, oh, right. metaphysics, oh, interlock with the grammatical, and, and then in the next paragraph, yeah, yeah, that's worth so it. So you have alta. How would you read that, Barbara? Jeez, don't ask me that. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, I'll, I will consider that's, it though. I wasn't going to pick it up. But <laughs> really? <laughs> that's wow, there's a lot of alta on that. Second paragraph, and then the out, the n altoise is fine, but I mean the a altoise. But there's one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five in those two parmenides, mm -hmm. and only. Well, my translation actually is pretty good. It just leaves out the first two in the first. Accordingly, then the others are neither two nor three, nor are outa contained in our toys. Yeah, take, yeah, take out the... Mm -hmm. Oh, you have selves there? Mine, mine doesn't have selves there. Since they are entirely... See, uh, my, mine has, accordingly then, the others are neither two nor three, nor are these numbers contained in them. Mm -hmm. But yours mm -hmm. has... No, no. Nor are... No, no, I'm in a different paragraph. Different paragraph? I'm in 14. Oh, you're in 14? I got my new book, and it doesn't have numbers on it. Oh. So we have two more there in 13. Accordingly, then, the others are neither like nor unlike, nor, nor same with the one, or self with the one. Nor self with the one? Well, it's our Mm-hmm. Okay. That they're plural. It's like yeah, it's plural. We're talking about Ta'ala. Yeah. Right above. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so that's why that's out there. So since it's plural, it's likely to be the same. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Barbara, then. No, no, I haven't got nothing. Um, I'm just trying to puzzle through it here. Yeah. So you're okay... Uh, Well, it definitely would be interesting to have same there, wouldn't it? Yep. Because then you get, accordingly then, the others are neither like nor unlike, nor the same to the one, for the one, with the one. Or, if it should read it Go like ahead. here, accordingly then, the others are neither like nor unlike, nor selves, by means of the one. Did you read it like that? Ah, that's fine. See, do that again. That's nice. I what think you're doing that, Mr. Coe. Yes, Mr. Coe did it. <laughs> the others are neither like nor unlike nor selves by means of the one. Nor are like yeah, okay, nor you're using this inherent in these particular cells that we're not talking about anymore in them, the things that aren't, the, the then here refers to something which is not, by the way, because it can't be one or many. So, nor are likeness and unlikeness inherent in self. You have a very interesting insight into articles. Into what? Articles. Uh, at times. 
Yeah, and right there. Very forgetful by person. means of. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, I'm I'm doing that. Um, I'm giving uh, the by means of his case. That's um, that's the to that's the data there. Uh, the 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 one. Yeah, that's is the data. The one. Yeah. But 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 putting it in the data makes it instrumental. Yes. And and gives it uh, a, a potency and um, a, um, mm. uh, a a purpose, a function, an activity. Oh. I like oh. that. Because of the one. I like that. And that's one way of going with the loop. The guru doesn't know the tape. So he moves from uh, instrumental relations to an Aristotelian philosophical term to make his point. Hmm. Does he now? Potency. Cause. Potency. 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 Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Which fits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, which is maybe. Uh, which. Well, in, in, in them, these things which were not called themselves because they're not many. For if they were like and unlike, are contained likeness or unlikeness in themselves, and that is reflexive, mm -hmm. then. The other than the one would somehow contain in themselves two opposite ideas. Okay. So it appears. But so it comes to us. But it is indeed impossible for anything to participate of the two which do not in any way participate <laughs> of <No> one. one. <laughs> That's easy enough. Impossible. <laughs> and there's a duel there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's 14. I'm just going to read out 15. 16. 16, yeah. Accordingly then. Accordingly then, the others are neither like, nor unlike, nor both. Yeah. <laughs> this both. is his reasoning now, the necessity, see. Mm. Where on the one hand, if they were, if the others were likes or unlikes, then they would participate of one different idea, but on the other hand, if they were both like, if they were both, then they would participate of two opposite ideas. But this has been shown to be impossible. This is true. He's saying the number. He's using the yeah, number. He's, he's picking up the idea of number. Yeah. yeah he's, he's <laughs> that's his reasoning. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, go ahead. Good. And, and throwing out a few other ideas yeah. outside, like participation. Yeah. And, Watch yeah. out on the next. OK. And it's sort of now this one is clever. This is one I like. Seventeen. According to them, they are neither selves nor others, nor in motion, nor standing still, nor generated, nor dissolved, nor greater, nor less, nor equal, nor do they undergo anything else of this kind? Hmm. Here's the reasoning. Okay. Four. If they could sustain... Sustain. 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 Four. If they could sustain undergoing any such... A, any such as... Any such thing... That's right. Then they would also participate of one <laughs> and two and three, three. <laughs> and even and odd, all of which have been shown to be impossible, uh, uh, to participate <laughs> by being entirely deprived of the one. Mm -hmm. All this is most true and necessary. Surely then, if one is, big conclusion, the one is all and also nothing at all, 
and so also in relation to itself and in the non relation and non relation to others. I think it's what you're trying to get up there. And I don't know why you put a non in there. Do you have a non in your? Uh, where? Um, uh, uh, the third to last word, fourth to last word. Yeah. In parentheses. Yep. I don't know why. Yeah. That's a fancy way of saying, therefore, it has no possible relationship with the others. <laughs> mm -hmm. Isn't this a conclusion to two through th two four, uh, five right here? This last. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Because he's saying the one is all. Oh. He's including. He's this is more all inclusive. Mm -hmm. Why is he saying that the one is all? Because he's not concluding about the fifth anymore. He's concluding about two through five. This is a hypotheses. Uh, hypotheses two through five is is. I think, I think we've seen part of the structure is that he makes grand conclusions at the ends of series. Mm -hmm. And there's another grand conclusion at the end of the series six through nine. You mean when he says the one is all here, he's including the previous hypothesis? Yeah. So two through so five. I think I think we, at the end of nineteen, at, at the end of seventeen, we can safely say he's concluded about five. I think so. Okay. Mm. And we've been here before and talked about this. So. Yeah. And then and then so the, the next one. For him to say that the one is, if the one is, then the one is just about anything you can think of, and nothing at all, insofar as it relates to itself, and insofar as it relates to just about anything else you want to think of. So, so then, how do you explain the nothing at all? Um, well, either by going to the fir uh, first, or by showing that it has no functional relationship in the fifth. Mm -hmm. And I don't know which mm. one he means. I'm happy with that. Fifth paragraph. Yeah, thanks. Well? <laughs> Five is finished. Huzzah! There's some really good snacks here. These meat meat. What? Meat meat. Those are Panera souffles, so they're empty. Empty protein meat. And it's important that the point David said is quite important, which is at the conclusion of all the positives and of all the negatives, he makes a conclusion that includes all the priors. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'd have a hell of a problem. Mm -hmm. well, how to out. fit those in? What, what would be the problem? Or as you pointed, how could it be all and or nothing? Okay. Right, right. Okay. So how do we picture this guy? If you were to walk in right now. And you'd be doing what I usually do, which is taking some kind of pill out of a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have no sense of self. They have no sense of anything that they sustain to. It just seems like lost in this. They couldn't even really even grasp that they have a pathologos problem. Like, that would be a likeness. Like, they they just seem awash, like, separate from any understanding. Yeah. Any connection at all? Try it. Makes me think sometimes of like, and and at the same time, they don't even know they're not lost. So they're <laughs> try it. They're like either ghosts or like uh, my parents <clears throat> in front of the television. Well, I was going to say more <laughs> like your parents. Uh, how, what kind of you know, like, how would they function? I mean, I I'm going to teach tomorrow, and I'm going to be looking at a bunch of kids, and some of them are going to walk into class and tomorrow? lost. Yeah, I have to do it. lost. So well, like I would think somebody's lost, like, and, they oh, would, and maybe they don't even know they're lost. And they're still around, right? right there? No, no. Wow. Okay, well, I, so, I, so, <coughs> yeah. <so> sorry. <coughs> and these are the ones who don't get it. I, uh, no, I, I think you're making a conclusion uh, that really belongs in the negatives, because this allows the one. Or, or if you want to use the word self, 
but it's utterly separate and distinct from the, all other mm. things. Mm. Right, so yeah. it, it would have to be someone who who like believes. Trump. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I don't whether it's a no, 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 joking. No, no but see, because this person would believe God exists, but you can never know anything about him. Mm. I, I, I meant Trump as God. Oh, yeah, that's better. Utterly distinct from I, I all heard, other things. I heard a story but. about one of my friend's students, and he's taking Latin two for the second time. He took Latin one, uh -huh. you know, and faked his way through it, and he got in Latin two, and he could not do it, and it did not make any sense to him. But he he came back. He wanted to participate in the class, in the one, in the group, in the process, yeah. but had no conception of what was going on around him. It's not something. Until Joe gave him the book that I used to use, which oh, showed wow. him that not only is there a, a huge milieu in which this can take place, but the thing that's going on can be intelligible that's from the one other book. And then he got into it. Isn't that, that's... So, so, Beautiful. So, you, so I can see how, <clears throat> like I'm saying, the kids who don't get it, they're there, but they don't see how how math really makes a connection with anything. Or, or, or how they there's make, something how, intelligible, but they can't participate in it. Right. Yeah. They're shut off from it. Right. And so that one kid kind of demonstrates, you know, he saw that there was something worth participating in, but couldn't. Mm -hmm had to come back and do the whole damn class over again. And then once he saw that there was something intelligible in it, he was in the game. Two through five. Yeah. He, he, two no, through he's four. at least a four. Yeah, two through four. He's now a four. What book are you, what book did you use with I use Wheel Ox Latin, which is totally boring. Wheel um, Ox Latin? Wheel Ox. W-H-E-E-L-O-C-K. And, uh, so that was like a bridge for him to that get was, into that was, that was a bridge because it, I think it tied together many of the I See, the, the book they use now is a reading book, and they don't need this grammar except for what little grammar you need to read that section. Hmm. And, and in Wheelock, so you don't get the genitive till the third year. And in Wheelock, you get the genitive in the second week. So that we can, you know, how we talk about the datas and the genitives and things and how important they are to showing the interrelationships between how the words relate. You, you don't get that in that class. So you're just reading, you're, you're just reading words and hearing stories. Right. And, and what he got from the wheel off was he could see how all those parts fit together and made sense in a unity. Intelligible. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I guess I'm missing something. Would that mean that he would even go to your class and, and go back again? Well, that's that's the curious part about this one individual. You can't tell that story about many kids. No, but I mean in terms of the fifth, would he even go back? I mean, he would see himself separate. He wouldn't even think he would even participate. That's right. So he wouldn't go back. Unless he had some friends. And, oh, but like Pierre said, there is a one. But he's separate from Right, but and that no doesn't way to participate in it. Exactly. So what what would it be that would allow him to hang in there? Maybe he had a hunch or something. Because or wake him up. Because Thursday night football is always there to participate in, regardless of whether you understand why or not. It's a positive thing. Here we're saying it's not you've wiped everything out. There's still a one that exists, it's just and I think that's how school functions for a lot of people. There's a unity. You, you put your, your parents say you put on your socks and shoes, you get over there, and you have no reason why you're there. In case you haven't been to high school classes. Huh? Does Joe have any Yeah. That's my famous speech, my spirit of disrupting speech. Is, is this like uh, a few of the dreams that we looked at over the past days where like we see we see things and but, but we don't participate in them yeah kind of like we're aware of them I don't know but then can't be aware of them yeah Gina's point is that there would be no reason at all for them to function in any purposeful way there's no Lucia in the 
in this hypothesis? Did you guys see? No, no. So no turning the battle. But but there is a higher power at work. Somewhere. The true opposite. If there was an OCA, it would be like somewhere over there. Well, I'm, I'm so yeah because you know if there is such a thing as the fifth hypothesis man which is what, what I asked originally I think so. sure. and, and if looking at Josh I realized that there's probably a bunch of kids in his math class who have no clue and yet show up anyway oh the, the cattle yeah part of the hybrid and, and, and your comment about your parents uh -huh. It's just like it's it's cattle mentality. Mm -hmm. Like what gets the, the shopping mall filled up? I don't know. I'm just rambling. I would be more curious as to why. Pierre's brow is so furrowed. Yeah, I and mean, he's got a really <laughs> nice drawing developing on his pad with a circumscribed triangle. Yeah, that's what <clears throat> I was doing some geometry when I was sitting. And I thought I saw a way to solve the first Euclid Euclid's proposition without applying the axiom. Oh, without the axiom. Cool. But and it was so and, clear. Uh huh. And I'm recalling it. Uh oh. Which actually thinks that you're Yeah. The one who was at the seminar. Something be so clear, and I can't reproduce it. Hmm. Huh, huh. Look later. Darn. Yeah, I know. You may have left it on the pillow. Or I was too hasty. Hmm. Or full of illumination. It looked illuminating. Yeah, okay. So, what are we going to do next trip? Good class. The sixth. Go into the negatives? Yes, six. I'd like to. That's my vote. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Six we go? Yeah. Fair? Okay. Okay. That's the next I, mean, I, may, I may get a call today. If I get a call today, I'm, I'm going to take this class. So ah. We talked about it last week. Oh, good. But that's all right. Have a good time. Fun. Have a good time. Yeah, I get to teach Latin. I'm just pretty far out. Mm -hmm. So the other question is whether we want to continue with 8 o'clock or go to 7 o'clock. It'll warm up. It'll be warm tomorrow. Really I'm fine with it either time. I just heard someone say that eight o'clock seemed better, so I thought I would raise it. But I'm I'm fine with seven. I get it. Well, walk around. Let's see others' views. Trina, for the uh, eight o'clock. I'm not at work this week, so I'm eight o'clock would work oh, this week, but not. Me. I'm up by six thirty. Oh, okay. I like it. Either is fine. Either's good for me. Good. Hey, I, I didn't see it. You came in. More traffic on the yeah. road, less traffic on the road. Natasha sent me a email. Okay. <clears throat> and she said that she was viewing my study on Carl Jung that's on the, on the way. And it was very impressive for her, and it, it helped her greatly because it's the study of 
psychology and alchemy. And I said, oh my God, I wonder whether or not you might want to take that with your group. Yeah. That'd be good. Yeah. It's an online PRS video. If you oh, do, okay. Yeah, if you do, uh, I suggest something. Okay. Tape their response. Tape their response. Tape their response. Uh, yeah. Culture. Yeah. 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 Right. Tape their response, and then you can. We'll all enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, that sounds fun. And it's kind of easy. Yeah. Even if I don't yeah. get it. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm not that category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I So I can find it on the archives? I don't Are know. the archives labeled, do you think? I'm going to have to call them that, Well, that yes. she gave a oh. citing. Oh, number? But. Okay. I tried to send it to you, but I went through the process and I disappeared. <laughs> oh, Natasha's sorry. email I, just yeah, disappeared I, off the damn web for me. So I was asking maybe Barbara <clears throat> got a copy oh, since I saw that wonderful. her name is also added to that well, email. Okay, or I could email Nastasha myself and ask her. Well, you can find out right now. Oh, good idea. <laughs> uh, yes, that's what I have. Okay, thank you. And today's the big day where they're going to vote. Yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's a slight question. There's a slight question. There's a slight doubt, but only so, ever so slight. Yeah. And and then if there's uh, any contention at all, the house it's given to the house. Yeah. And uh, and so it's 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 a done deal. It's a done deal. But but it's a good deal to have this. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it oh, be great, great if it oh, it'd, be, yeah. it'd be great even if it went to the house, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it, that would show the degree. It'd be of historical, like Al Gore's thing. Yeah. It would be historical. It's only happened seven times. Now, out of fifty-five elections, seven is a pretty good percent. It's like what eight, eight uh percent? -huh. I mean, I mean, eighteen wow. percent or yeah. close. You know. So that's a, that's a good number. Did I you should, know the electoral college? Well, is the amendment, or how I'm, I'm not sure what legal, legal standard it has, but apparently that's the thing that there have been, been the most attempts to knock out is the use of the electoral college to decide the election. Yeah, but the that most mean, that right? means that the South loses their power. Ah, okay, that's what that means. Yeah, hmm. literally, because that's why their vote is so important during the election, during the, the primaries. Because they play a pivotal role. And they have, did they have like an disproportionate amount yeah. of, oh wow, yeah. the things I don't know. Yeah, are, and, that's why, and, and that's why it doesn't follow from the popular vote. Someone has to have a disproportionate value for it not to reflect the popular vote. And the, right, you're and right, three, you're right, you're right. And the that three states that our friend Moore, Michael Moore, studied are those three states mm. to make his prediction about the election. Mm. Do you know, happen to know what, the, what they were, which ones they were? Yeah, I got it somewhere. Okay. I'll see if I can find it online. <laughs> really, the states that, um, that Trump overturned and changed from the typical Democratic map are the states which have had over a 200% increase in overdoses from <laughs> prescription drugs in the I last four story. years. Yeah, and it also it's... it's That's just kind of an interesting part. It's, it's also the states that have gained the greatest volume and percentage. Really? really? Yeah. Yay! I yeah, would, like... I would have liked to have... Like 80% of them are on the dole. Yeah, right, because of all the... Despair and poverty and lack of yeah. jobs and shutting yeah. down of industry and yeah. yeah. I'd also like to mention that should anyone find himself in the position of exchanging these cylinders out, it's it's been agreed by Pierre and Nancy and all the um, and that they should be paid for by the Noetic Society. So you just get a receipt, you bring it to G Julie, and eventually Julie will give you one check for it. <laughs> Speaking of which. Hi. I'm just finishing my grades today, so oh, okay, I've been cool. busy. I get it. But thanks. 
What time tomorrow then? Yeah. Eight o'clock. Yeah. Eight o'clock or seven o'clock? Eight o'clock. Okay. Yeah, eight o'clock. That's it. Everybody went oh. either. I everybody, everybody went either, but but Elvar came in for eight o'clock, and, and that's and, what we're going with. It's okay with me. John, sorry, I'm not. We only got a week like that anyway. I mean, or two weeks because once they go back to school, we're back at. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Gina, and Gina once Gina to, goes back, which yeah. is only this week, maybe. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks, Barbara, for the pleasure. Day. Pleasure. Oh, did, and Ursula came in. Came in already. Yeah. Sure. All right. Good. And we went and saw the boat parade last night, which is pretty zany. Okay. And I'll get in touch with you in an hour. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. If I'm making you here to take it down by you. Later? Yes. Thank you, Pierre. Pleasure. Bye-bye. Cheers, man. Cheers, Brian.